Hello colleagues, my name is Phoenix and this is the second video of my SKSE modding tutorial series. In this video we will install all the necessary programs for SKSE development and build the first plugin. I downloaded a virtual machine and I have a clean Windows installation now. We start with Microsoft Visual Studio. Just go to the website and download installer. I am prefer the preview one, as this version once helped me to get rid of the failed build of my first SKSE plugin. I think the regular Visual Studio version is also suitable now. Setuping takes a long time. In this case, we can download other programs during its installation. We need C++ desktop development checkbox check it, or something like that, and click install. While Visual Studio is installing, we continue. Then install Git. You may not have an account to clone projects. You can leave it with the default settings. Done. Make sure that you have path to the git directory in your path environment variable. Next guy is CMake. As usual, download, install. Let it add itself to path. Done. Make sure that it works and pass set. The last thing is VC package. Go to the git repo. And we need to clone and run script. Let's create new directory modding and clone there.
done, then run script. Now let's update path variable and create two new ones. and test. Clone common lib ssc repo and set environment variable. Clone my template plugin. If you have a GitHub account and know what template repo is, you can use my repo as template. Then wait until Visual Studio is installed. Then restart your computer. Now we have to write the command vc package integrate install. If I remember correctly, this should be done in x64 native command tools prompt. Now we will generate a Visual Studio project. To do this, write the following command. VC package will install the required packages and CMake will generate the project itself. The next builds will be much faster, since now you are downloaded packages and then they will be taken from the cache. The line 
build files has been written to mm -hmm. indicate that your build was successful. You can open the result in VC project. Now we can build the library and then the project. The result in the LL you can find in build debug directory. Let's test it. I don't want to install Skyrim in my virtual machine, so I just move plugin to my PC and run there. As you can see, there is a new log file from our new template plugin in my log folder. Now let's change our plugin a bit, add another output to the log file when the game is fully loaded. Why are you so laggy, Visual Studio? Never, remember guys, never develop a SCSI plugin with one single core computer. I just forgot to add this option to my virtual machine. So C++ development isn't as painful as you've seen all this time before. Now things should be better.
right line initialized when we fully load it then build plugin again and let's test As you can see, new line appears. So guys, today we installed all the programs needed to write plugins, also create our first empty plugin. In the next video, we will install programs for RE and, and set up the EDA database. Well, do code play RE and good luck. See you in the next videos.